everyone, this is Rocco coming at you for a full self-driving video. What we are doing is doing an alternative route to Carl Sandburg. Uh, I'll show you on the map here what that is. So normally we would go this way here and straight across this way and back around uh, down this road. But that road is under construction, so it has us doing a detour. I've been doing this the last few weeks and I decided that hey, we'll go, we're going to make this another test route. It actually does pretty well and it's actually a better, more intriguing test route than the other one is because you know, um, the other one does it zero day. I haven't not had zero disengagements on that drive in a long time. <laughs> so it's gotten kind of boring to test. And so this one, well, it's a little bit longer, uh, I think, to get there. Uh, it's a... Uh, it's definitely more interesting. You have more turns, a couple of unprotected lefts, and a um, mix of highway and everything else. So that's pretty interesting. So we're going to see how that does today, and I'll take you along. So I guess I haven't really done a lot of 11.4.4 videos, um, but overall I've been pretty happy with it. I know there's a few people, I know Mike doesn't seem to have a great experience in his area, which is definitely very likely the case. Um, Canton is very, you know, there's rural mountain roads The car seems to have to struggle on quite a bit. But if you're on like any remotely suburban roads, like what, where I'm going, uh, then it does quite well on. Here we have a car coming up on my left, and we have a truck coming up which we're rapidly catching up to. My car should go ahead and get. Oh, wait, hold on. Okay, sorry, I was in chill, and it doesn't do that when you're in chill. If I was in average, it would have got over, so I'm gonna make it get over because it's not. I, it shouldn't be slowing down like that. Even in chill, I don't think it should do that. It was wide open on the left. The truck in front of me was going substantially slower than I was. It shouldn't do that when it's in chill. So I've noticed on this version and the several past versions, see how it swings too wide and then over corrects? Um, that's been all these most recent 11.4 updates. Um, the entire way up to Michigan and back, uh, we had that issue. Every exit we got off um, would do that, and it was really, really annoying. My mom hated it. Um, which I didn't like it either. It was just it would just swerve for no reason, just off the highway. Um, something to do with the eleven dots for updates, but uh, hopefully that gets addressed here in the next couple updates. Definitely something with eleven dot four dot four is it merges so much better in most areas. My merge, unfortunately, the one we got on um, just early in the video, uh, doesn't. Uh, still doesn't merge correctly. It should get over sooner. Um, however, what it does allow you to do, and I tried this the other day, is you can manually lane change. So this is great. This is exactly what it should be doing right here. Uh, you can manually lane change um, uh, and not have it go into the second lane. So if I wanted to get over sooner myself, then I can tell it to do so now, which is great. That's how, how it should have been from the very beginning. I have no idea why they decided not to do that, so unless it was just you know, extra code they have to get pushed in and they would delay the project so they decided to keep it out or something, I don't know. And so one thing it does getting off the highway here, I've noticed, is it goes off a little bit too quickly. Like, it should be slowing down already. And what it does is it goes all, all the way full region, then it lets off in full region again. But it's going also, it's using friction brakes right now. Because it doesn't slow down soon enough, because it doesn't account properly for hills, uh, then it ends up having to use friction friction brakes instead of just region all the way down smoothly. But that's definitely room for improvement is that it could be smoother going off this. Okay, I'm gonna have to disengage if it goes. No, 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 no. God. Didn't check for oncoming traffic from the left. Now there's a car coming behind me. Uh, I wanted to show you what it mess, messed up every time right here. Um, 
And then, of course, there's a police car behind me. Excellent. Um, but, um, yeah, so right there, when it, when it would turn right there, it would, like, swerve and, like, can't figure out what lane to be in and just kind of stop in the middle of the road. I wanted to show that. However, there was a car coming this time. And, of course, my car decided to go when it was going. Like, it had stopped. And then, like, would have been fine, but it then it creeped up and it decided to commit. And that was wrong. It would have committed into the other car, basically. So that was good. This is why this route is a little bit more intriguing um, than the other test route because you have more turns, more unprotected lefts. You know, that was the one we messed up on was an unprotected right, um, which you know it should be a lot easier to do because you're just looking one way for traffic. A lot of quick lane changes, like we had to get over in that left lane right there to make it make that unprotected left. But um, up here is another unprotected left, essentially. So I saw this morning that's 11.4.5 should be going out to employees. So which means, good chance by the end of the week I'll have 11.4.5. I'm actually taking another trip out to the opposite side of the state close to Raleigh again. Um, we're doing a, a camping trip. Um, well, RV trip. I, I don't really consider that camping. But um, just to hang out with some friends. Um, so yeah, I'll be interested to see if I have that, see if there's any improvements on the highway. Here, um, past attempts, we have disengaged one time because it didn't check for traffic. It commits too soon. Uh, it doesn't creep properly. See, if it, um, there's a car coming behind me, right? Uh, well, to, to my right as I was turning. And if it's had... Um, wait if the car was sooner it would have messed up but it, it, since the car wasn't there um it was able to make it so what it does here every time it turns the blinker on is it not gonna do it yeah there it is <laughs> i was gonna say every time it turns the blinker on normally it keeps it on longer it thinks it's in that turn lane and turns the blinker on to, you know get over but it's already over it doesn't need to do that So these type of roads, it does really well on curves. It's this version is definitely improved over the previous um, version. Again, for curves, still not perf perfect. Um, still room for improvement, still. But I can tell certain curves have been improved. It stays faster around the curves. It's smoother, it, less jerky, all that type of stuff. It's just overall better around curves, still. You still have something like that, see how it slowed down and kind of like wheeled the wheel back and forth? That stuff, I'm looking like it shouldn't need to do that. It should be smooth all the way around that curve. Uh, stuff like that is still there. It wasn't bad by any means. Um, like if I was in the back, I might not have really even noticed it. But as a, as a passenger in the driver's seat, uh, you definitely notice those things because you wouldn't do that as a driver. So like, as a human, we're going to critique the car until it's as good as... It should be better than what we can do in every circumstance. Like, 99.9% of times, it should be better than what a human can do. Okay, and here is the spot. Um, if you follow me on Twitter, you would notice, know I did this route and... Well, okay, it's not going to mess up because of the green light. Um, previously... Uh, I had a red light and it says no turn on red and it decided to turn anyway. That was the first time I did this route, um, is it did that. And I would have had zero disengagements. It was great, fantastic. Um, we had one disengagement obviously on this drive because you know it didn't check for the car. Well, it, it checked, but didn't decide to wait. It thought it could make it for some reason. Which I mean, it would have been fine, but it just would have been an absolute rude, bad move to make. 
But yeah, uh, everyone, that's gonna be the end of this drive. This is probably all I'm gonna make today since it's a unique drive. Um, let, let me know what you think down below if you have any questions, any comments, concerns, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.